Hi from the Mardigian Library. This is a very fast video about what VPN is and how you can set it up. So, VPN, or Virtual Private Network, is a secure and encrypted kind of connection. Whereas Wi-Fi is usually unsecure, it means that our databases and the servers that run them have a really hard time figuring out who you are and whether you're affiliated with the university. Therefore, they may give you a proxy error eh, and not let you in and see the content that you're actually allowed to look at. So, if you connect over a Virtual Private Network, which usually needs some kind of a separate client or sometimes a built-in client for VPN, we can tell exactly who you are, authenticate you properly using your unique name and password, and get you access to all of our e-resources and databases. Great, so now that you know what VPN is and why you need to use it, I'll show you how to get it set up. Start at the main umdearborn.edu homepage, and in the top right-hand corner, you should see that there is a white search box. Type in the letter VPN and click search. This is the fastest way to get to the guide to help you set up VPN. The top result should say help guides, so click on that. It is made by ITS, and if you scroll down about halfway, you're going to see VPN help guides in a section with um, different instructions depending on the device. So if you have an Android phone or tablet, an iPhone or iPad, if you've got a Windows device running Windows 10, 7, uh, or 8, or if you've got a Mac, the instructions are customized. So since I'm running a Windows 7 machine, I'm going to jump over and show you that um, for Windows 7, it's going to look a bit like this. It's going to show me screenshots with step-by-step -step instructions of exactly what I need to do in order to get my VPN client downloaded and set up correctly um, with all of the settings accurate for um, the connection that I'm going to need to do. So go ahead and follow those instructions for your device. And yes, you can do multiple devices step-by-step. -step. Um, make sure that you do what they do. And then I'm going to show you what it actually looks like when I connect on my machine, which again is running Windows 7 right now. So I'm going to find the Global Protect Client in my uh, programs. And once I launch that, which, uh, sorry about that, mine is being a little stubborn. Um, once I launch my Global Protect app, um, you'll see the icon is going to um, come up in my system tray in a second. There it is. Um, uh, I've already got my settings because I set it up before, so now I just have to basically click this connect button. It's going to pop up a window in which I'll type in my unique name and password. That's the same one that I would use to access my UMish mail or log into Wolverine Access to register, that kind of thing. And now I just click the connect button. And I'm going to watch my status. Right now it says connecting, and it should change over to connected. And when I see that it says, there we go, connected, now I know that I am connected by VPN and that I can go ahead to the library page, put in my PIN number, and start accessing all of the resources like ebooks and databases that I want to use. If you are having any problems getting your VPN set up, please contact I. ITS's help desk. You can see all their contact information right here. They've got a location here in the library and in the Fairlane Center South. You can call them or you can send them an email and they'll help you out. 